Welcome to another vibrations, another reaction on this here BRBP TV. Be real, be positive television, brothers and sisters. Welcome to each and every one of you guys on this here Friday edition of the Reaction Vibrations on this channel. Of course, I'm about Mr. Licks. Let us get into the vibrations right there. As you can see on the screen, if you can see, brothers and sisters, open your eyes. It is the very business that we were talking about yesterday. The young man who tried to set up something to organize himself to, so he can support his family. And of course, this is what he set up. As you can see, it looks like it has a natural element of these things as the chairs look like they are handmade out of some forest or something like that brothers and sisters you know where there's a will there's a way if you cut it you have to cut it and make it happen but apparently it seems like they made it happen and was looking to make the natural element it seems as well as using um this kind of palettes brothers and sisters to set up the little vibrations right there on the bay front and of course the police themselves are like no don't have this there you know they're trying to ruin a young man's business even though this is most likely his only livelihood that he actually has to support his family, uh, his girlfriend, his two daughters, and his grandma by extension. Unfortunately, uh, I thought that they were going to keep it up after the apology, but it's not the same place. It's not the same thing at all. So the police actually came. Hopefully, there are no cuss words inside there, brothers and sisters. So as you can see, let me zoom in on this thing. I don't know why people like to... So apparently, this is the police and it seems like there's some sort of rope being tied. Yeah, this is the rope right there. So based on what the individual is saying, uh, it seems like the, the, the guy had uh, some meeting with the commissioner it seems. And maybe the commissioner said this but the order still went through with the other authorities that were there and the lady is saying that was two days after because from the time that he heard that he had to cut it down by 3 p.m the next day they would come and take it down but apparently that was not the case and another uh, which is today i believe this is um they're coming to take this on and the lady is saying well this is two days after so maybe they, they tried to keep it up or something, I don't know. So this is the individual right there. But I just, you think I would just come there and just say what I talk to the chief. So he's saying that he, he spoke to the chief. But I just tell you that none of what you see in it fit to at least call the chief. I, I, I kind of understood something like that took place. Like I said it yesterday, guys. It seems like he most likely spoke to the chief and had to apologize. And he gave his apology and they told him that he would keep it up. But unfortunately, these other folks didn't get the memo. But if he spoke to the chief, why don't they call the chief? Or maybe the chief has another plan. Hey, I talk to you behind closed doors, you know, talk to you and whatnot, blah blah blah. Maybe the chief made promises that he himself could not keep. Because if you spoke to the chief, normally the chief would give the orders to say hey guys don't break it down true or false but apparently they are here to take it down Call Matt. It's interesting that I'm hearing them, them say this. So they're saying call Matt, call Matt. It's interesting that when there are situations, people always try to call Matt. Call Matt, call Matt, call Matt. Yeah, you call Matt, then when Matt gives his input on something, people hate Matt. <laughs> I don't know. People are very confusing. 
call Matt, call Matt, call Matt to put this out there so things can be known out there. Anyways, guys, from my understanding, I heard that the structure is still up. However, the things inside the building are empty. Maybe the guy, um, you know, was being, you know, ensure that, hey, if all you take down the building, at least my, my things inside there would be better secure. Maybe that's why these things are outside. Maybe that's why these things are outside. Or maybe because I'm not seeing any table out there, I'm seeing things on it. Yeah, I'm seeing certain things on there. So maybe he was clearing there out. There's a box there. Yeah, maybe he was trying to clear things out there. That's why they were saying um, that the place is empty inside there. But it's very, it's interesting. If the guy was saying, hey guys, I spoke to the chief. I spoke to the chief. And if I spoke to the chief about this, you guys should not be there doing this. And if they shouldn't be there doing this, why are they there in the first place? But then again, guys, you cannot really put blame on these guys. These guys are just there to carry out orders. And who is giving the orders if they are there? It must be the chief, ain't it? They are here, not on their own volition. Sometimes we tend to look at these people and say, no, 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 this is, but they're carrying out, carrying out orders. So the question here I must ask is, who gave the orders for them to continue Breaking it down. They have all kind of magic on there. They have a set of tents. I heard that they are removing the tents. I heard that they are removing the tents. Maybe they are trying to do something on the bayfront. Trying to bring back the beauty of the bayfront. Well then again. When it comes down to the, the particular individuals who are running things right now. Bringing back the beauty of something is you know. Not always of the best interest of beautifying or beautification. <laughs> I would have to say. Right there because, you know, <laughs> it's incompetence that there. <coughs> so, on the basis that they're probably trying to clear the bayfront for them to probably do something, that's probably why they're trying to take this out right there. Well, what exactly are they going to be doing? Or if I don't think this is in a, an area where it is, is, is pretty much, you know, a hindrance to the, to the people. However, when it comes down to the beautification of the area... I would understand why they want to remove this. But the better question here is, if they've seen a young man doing his thing right there, wouldn't the better thing to do, hey, we see you doing your thing, and we would like to build you something much better, you know, to beautify the area. We would like to, you know, try something. But then again, usually when it comes down to government doing things for people, sometimes, especially when it comes down to business, they might be renting it to him. <laughs> Renting it to him if they have to build something for him. So the question here is what exactly needs to be done in that particular situation? If they're trying to bring back Bayfront to how Bayfront used to shine bright like a diamond back in the day. Then I think this would need to be removed. True. But I think they need to put him in a certain place where he can be able to thrive and continue doing his business. You don't just tell him no come out there. <laughs> you know. Come out there. We don't want you there. That's what they're pretty much saying in the hindsight. Come out there. You're doing your business to support your family members. We don't want you there. You're doing too much for yourself. Come out there. That's what it sounds like. Because they're not there. There's no information going out there saying, hey, they're going to put him at the, uh, somewhere close to the area. Or they're going to, you know, help him out. Are they going to be giving him uh, some monies, you know, for him to be able to do something? Give him 10, 20, 30, well some money some level of monies for him to be able to set up shop somewhere else i remember in Collio they gave a lady some monies to set up shop just outside the the the, the, the curve of Collio. well you know i'm talking about i think everything for you baby something like that yes brothers and sisters everything something like that they set up help her out from my understanding and she's there today well wouldn't they be able to help this young man who's trying his best to support his family and grandmama. I mean, that would make more sense to me. Eh? Help him out somewhere in Rosu where you know there's an, an abundance of people. Most likely Bayfront is a nice place where people try to come and relax. Well, they had the tents and thing there, so people were not necessarily relaxing there anymore. So I guess people were passing through. And if they pass through, they saw that, hey, I want a drink and come and take a little drink or something. But it's, it's, it's a sad state of affairs, brothers and sisters. Although I understand the sentiment that they're probably trying to do something with Bayfront. 
We have no clue what exactly it is. We know they set up the ghetto, fabulous tents on the bayfront. Or maybe they're trying to do something else. Who knows? They're not telling the people nothing, which of course is very interesting. There was another incident that took place, I think, yesterday or the day before, where some guy came in on a flight. Some ink, maybe he's a king of Saudi Arabia, or some fella from Saudi Arabia, and he came in and and thing, and we didn't know about that. However, from my understanding, he did, did he was he did not come into Dominica. He, I think, he was trying to meet with a number of Caribbean leaders. He, I think, he went to Grenada, he went to Barbados afterwards and of course but i just think that the people will be better informed if you know what exactly was was happening but it seems like you know you know it don't really tell the people much and it's very sad when it comes down to that situation right there it's very tough it's very tough indeed bar tough that's apparently the the name of the bar i'm guessing so it's a tough life man but like i said before guys just making noise with these people the police officers are there doesn't make a difference no it's not them you know they are just carrying out orders they carrying out orders and they come there to do what the order is saying i think they should go higher up this is one of the things that people tend to do people in authority they make decisions and they send the authorities to barricade the decisions so when people making noise with the people who are carrying out orders the people who actually made the orders are not the ones being, you know, targeted. So I think people need to look into that as well. These guys are, are just carrying out orders with them. These guys are just carrying out orders. They're not the ones who made the orders. So when they come in there to carry out the orders, people are vexed with them, making noise with them, but they are just carrying out all the orders. Whereas on the basis of those who actually made the order, I think that's the people you need to go behind. But unfortunately, that's the people that we get to see. But this guy was talking and say I spoke to the chief. But anyways, guys, from my understanding, like I said before, it seems like the 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 the, the building is empty. The building there is empty, and you know, he say he spoke to the chief. Who knows what's gonna happen as a result of that? But another young one, another young man, is being taken advantage of. Anyways, brothers and sisters, I saw something interesting right there. This is the video that I saw. This is going along the Wesley Coast. But this looks like good for you. So this is definitely Kalibishi, I think. Yeah, going into Kalibishi. I guess they're giving us a tour. <laughs> but that's, that's not where we're actually looking at. This is what we're looking at, brothers and sisters. This is the area that they're clearing for the international airport let me make this brighter so you guys can see you know thank god for technology man yes man technology you're even brighter now is it <laughs> so as you can see there's a number of things being developed there and this is what it looks like right now. Remember when the the, 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 the equipments were removing dirt from particular areas? Well, this seems to be the, the cement plant, I'm guessing. A cement plant. Why are they building cement plant when you're talking about boreholes? Brothers and sisters, there's something rather interesting I, I, I don't seem to fathom or properly understand. They're talking about doing the boreholes. And if the boreholes are, you know, done three to four years, and they, they realize that the area is not conducive to build an airport. Then wouldn't that mean that you will have to find a different location? However, on the basis that certain parts of the, the international airport that they are building are, are not you know, conducive, then that means they have to do a lot of maybe backfilling or, or filling up or, or, or whatever that they have to do to that particular area. That would make sense for this thing right there. But then that's going to be taking more money which is another interesting stuff when you look at what the UWP them had. All these tests were done. Yet still we are starting back from scratch. I'm, I'm square one. Square one to do the very thing that could have been done in another place. But because it's not their place that they look that, that, that they selected, they don't want to use it. So they're going to be taking more money to do something, which of course is one of the reasons why I always believe that they could have been, they could be washing money doing these projects. 
How do you wash money? If a project costs five hundred million dollars, you tell the people, guys, it costs one point three million dollars, one point three billion dollars. That's what you tell the people it costs, but it actually costs five hundred million dollars. And if you're doing this, you put this on the time. You you write up your whatever you're writing up, so you can make this thing. However, when you build in the airport, you actually build the airport for four hundred million dollars, and then that means you pocket the rest of the money, which of course is. 4 million, 400 million from 1.3, that's 9. So you pocket $900 million and you believe about for $400 million. It could be that. That's how you wash money, brothers and sisters. Because you're putting it into projects and then you're taking it out. What are these things? These are, 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 are the building areas that they were talking about. Is this? Uh, I don't know what this is. So this is like what, where one of the that's what they set up where one of the individuals ended up going over. Guys, what do you think about that? What do you think about that situation? Right now? This is another, and across the road is where they're gonna be building the airport. Why? Look land, bro. Look land for real, but they have to make this flat. So that means there's a lot of digging and flattening that they have to do. The place that the UWP had before was in, in much flatter. It was much flatter. There was less work to be done when it comes down to, you know, grading up and this kind of things there. But then we have this thing, you know, mountains that they have to, you know, flatten. Well, brothers and sisters, this is pretty much all I, all I have for this year, Reaction Vibrations today, guys. What are your thoughts, man? What are your thoughts on what do you think is happening right there? We heard that that a number of persons were saying, hey, maybe it's Chinese civilization, Chinese civilization they're going to be building there. This looks like some factories and stuff. I mean, if we can build these little factories, cement factories or whatever they want to call it there. Brothers and sisters, don't you think we could build, you know, agricultural factories to help the people? I mean, we can do this, not true. What is the hold up when it comes down to building agricultural factories? That, that is what that mind boggles. It blows my mind, man. It literally incinerates my thought process, brothers and sisters, to understand why we can't build factories to then utilize our products, our agricultural products. Our agricultural products are fruits that we can then turn into juices. We can then turn these things into medicine, even medicine. We can then provide a level of some, some substance, some level of some substance of herbs that can go out there, brothers and sisters. Even looking into the cannabis industry, the cannabis industry is a multi-billion-dollar industry that Dominica could be a part of. Yes, you regulate it on humans, the amount that people can actually use themselves, you know. But they, they make the industry grow so it can be used for medic, medicine, medicinal purposes and this kind of things. I, I, I think that would make sense. But no, we don't want to do this. We don't want to do this. Why? Why? Guys, it's just me that... that, that maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, we can build these things to build airport. Yet still, we cannot put down a few million dollars to build some factories to then utilize the herbs that we have and the fruits that we have to then export across the Caribbean. Dominica, as you see the massive, when the person say, look at land, you say, we can get to dig in. Boy, look land, bro. Say, boy, look land. Can you imagine we were using the land, brothers and sisters, to build agricultural products? Just like Canada, places like Canada have a six acres, thousands of acres of land of fruits and stuff that they hire other people from across the Caribbean and other places, Africa, number of places to go up there for six months to pick, to pick fruits, <laughs> to pick from the tree because of the vast expanse of land that they have. Dominica has the same thing. We can be doing the same thing too. We can sell fruits and we can make products from these fruits. We can build power plants, brothers. We can build um, 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 fact, um, um, pl um, cement plant, but we cannot build agricultural factories. Uh, I, I, I find that strange, you know, boy. I find that strange, you know.
<laughs> guys this is friday eh? god's side eh, brothers and sisters if you understand this video give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through subscribe brothers and sisters with that bell don't forget to click the bell when you subscribe as well so you can be notified when i drop my videos right there and there i just find it interesting man very very interesting we cannot build factories i mean my west halloween factory coming up what is going on i mean i have an inclination of what is going on you know they're basically building the stuff for people who uh, you know the richer folks and you know they can you know and then they don't want the people to be able to gain access to funds so that they can elevate themselves anyways guys let me know your thoughts right there leave your thoughts in the comment box below guys and give you uh, <laughs> and then a young man trying his best to do something and they, and they kicking him out kicking him out but I just tell you that none of what you see in it fit to have this all the children man ay 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 well all I'm there to put guys is put the information out there and let the people you know do what they want with it with all that said right there guys I'll see you guys in the next reaction video be real Despite the odds, brothers and sisters, still be positive. House of dark secrets rising in the middle of the sea day. And everyone sees, nobody knows. As it rises, the citizens fall deeper into poverty. Everyone sees. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. All laws are broken, civility is lost. Justice overtaken by the rule of force. Democracy is boldly slipping away from us. But it's left.